Hi folks, Peter Hill, field agronomist with Pioneer Hybrid. I want to talk about the wind. It's, it's not your normal topic from, a, from a, you know, an agronomy discussion, but the wind has an interesting impact on plant growth and development. Now, the, the wind, obviously, we can't see it, but we feel it, so it has mass, and it's mostly driven by that temperature differential, if you will, between the equator and the pole. And then, of course, the rotation of the Earth is what moves our atmosphere around the globe. Specific to a plant, then, obviously, our atmosphere is mostly gas. So CO2, oxygen, obviously, for us. But the CO2 is pretty critical for plant growth and development. Obviously, it's a key part of photosynthesis. So when the wind blows, here's what it does. And it's a positive thing. Uh, on a still day, we'll have a gradient, if you will, from the surface of the leaf into the air above it of CO2, a gradient. When the wind's blowing, it kind of keeps a constant concentration of CO2 going across the surface of the leaf. That actually increases plant growth and development. It increases transpiration, if you will. Now, of course, that's a positive as long as there's soil moisture available to support all that. So when that wind's blowing, Turbulence, right, is actually a good thing for the plant. Keeps the high, keeps the concentration of CO2, if you will, at the highest level at the surface of the leaf. That's important. Now then, are there negative consequences of wind? Absolutely. So if we have too much wind and we maintain a high rate of transpiration, excellent growth, but we also drive out a lot of soil moisture. So we create a moisture gradient as well across the surface of that leaf. And the plant has to understand that, and of course it does that through the stomates, right? It may roll the leaves if it gets under drought stress as a result of not enough rain and too much wind. It can also have ramifications in terms of causing plant lodging, right? So depending on the size of the plant, the amount of material above ground, how much of it catches the wind versus the amount of root that is developed below ground, you can have root lodging, plants get moved or pushed over, and that causes stress as well. So, again, yeah, it's too busy, it's too windy to spray, if you will. But maybe this is a time for you to reflect and just think about the wind. Uh, a lot of times we curse it, but it actually has positive impacts, if we will, on plant growth and development. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks, folks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.